y'all. This is AL Thick My Dog instead of his sugar. Y'all, I just finished up at the function. It's crazy because we really finished up like a couple of minutes after it would have been time for me to be at work. But like I said, like I'm just not I'm not finna sit up there and inconvenience myself. I would have been running on fumes, trying to get my life together, barely had any sleep. I took it upon myself to go and get another card because I didn't want to give her that card where it already was messed up before she got it and all that. So I was like, no, nah, I got to get it right. I got to give it to her and do it right the first time. So I went and got another one. The one that I told y'all about that I ended up liking what was, you know, uh, expressed on the inside of the card, but the outside was kind of basic, but it is what it is. So. All that really matters is what's on the inside of the car. Um, but yeah, y'all, now I'm on my way to work. No, I'm not about to work. <laughs> I figured that I would go and drop off some food to my friend. Now, what was supposed to happen was um, this other woman who it actually is her shift to work, she was supposed to work. Now, she said either she was going to not work or she was going to, you know, uh, come in late. So, I was like, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. About to make this lie, honey. Holy oh, little in the name. But, um, hopefully I'll be done with this video before it get dark outside. Because it is, you know, darker than what it might actually seem like right now looking at me. I look a fool. Y'all excuse me. I know I look a mess. So, uh, anyway, uh, what are you doing? Lord have mercy. I'm glad I be paying attention and be looking at all my mirrors because these people can't drive. Oh, Lord. Uh, but, yeah, y'all. Now I'm on my way to work so that I can drop off food to my friend. Now, the other woman was supposed to be there because today is her normal day to work. My friend's last day of the work day, work week, was Saturday at 6 a.m. So she was supposed to be good. And I had already been informed that, you know, the only way that she would have to work would be if the other person whose normal day it is decided to call out or whatever. So I was like, okay. And this heifer sat up here and took off two days. Now she told me out of her own mouth what she was going to do was she was going to go in late or she was going to leave out have her work clothes on and then come out you know for a little while and then go back in and just gonna take an occurrence or half an occurrence now what i'm just finding out like right before i walked out of the situation the function was that they gave permission for everybody who was gonna be affected by it because of the time that they worked they were gonna allow them to be off for it so if they wanted to take the whole day they could or at least do it where they can, you know, be off for like four hours and then come in four hours later, whatever, or two hours late. Cause like I said, it, it really basically lasted two hours. And for me, I'm just like, look, I don't want to inconvenience myself. Listen here, this is the last of the alcoholic beverage that I had. <laughs> I'm like, I'm that big old drink, man. I already told y'all if I was going to be bad, what I was going to do was I was gonna do what I wanted to do, but I just can't do it how I really would want to do it because I cannot partake of anything that's like shellfish or whatever because I'm scared I'm gonna break out into hives and my body really gonna swell up. Tell me why, y'all. All this week I've been, you know, my 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 um ankles have been swollen, feet have been swollen to capacity. So when I was off, I had enough time to do my toes. Now, one of my toes, it just has this thing of either I keep dropping something on it and not realizing or it keeps splitting up the middle. So I just been tearing it off, letting it grow back. And then eventually when it happens, it do what it do and then it split and then I just, you know, start over. Now, since I know how to do nails, I was gonna do an extension with acrylic, right? While I was off. So I was like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. And so I still had everything and you know from my days of when i religiously was doing that you know doing nails and all that but now the only thing i do is my toes when i'm up to it but yeah y'all i was like well let's see how this goes <laughs> and i just was like
like, no, nah, ain't no reason for me to do all this. Like, I did take, I don't remember if I told y'all, and I think I did. I had already soaked in the tub, and I keep my legs and stuff elevated when I'm at the house, but I'm on the couch, which is not comfortable. It's not like a pullout like my sister's is. Hers is very, very comfortable. It's a really nice pullout bed. Like, it's like a king size. I don't know how she do that, but it's, it's really nice, considering. And so, I was like, okay, still swollen. Well, today I done got off work. I told y'all I was gonna work the first day, not go today. So I got off at 8 a.m. this morning, y'all. And I was like, well, I made up my mind that I was gonna get another card. So the place where I was going, it didn't open up until 10. So then I waited until 10. I'm talking about to fall asleep in the car and everything because I'm tired because I barely slept the day before because that man came from out of nowhere. Like, what is wrong with you? Why are you showing up over here trying to work on the apartment? on a Sunday. Like, what is... Y'all, I was so tired of my spirit red. I was like, why? And then, this is the first time he ever did it where it was before 5 p.m. So I'm like, sir, I'm trying to go to sleep. So, I'm already, like, and then, like, after he had his little moment where he said he hadn't bathed in four days and he had dirty clothes in the truck, he left not too long after that and then we had a downpour out of this world. Like, we've been having ridiculous rain, thunderstorms all the day. It's, it's a lot been going on. So, I was like, all right. Uh, Y'all, I'm almost at work. But anyway, um, so I was like, okay. <sighs> Barely had any sleep. So, since I made up my mind I was going to get that stuff, I was like, yeah, let me go get this card because I don't want the scribble scrabble and where it's obvious that I, you know, made a mistake in the spelling and all this other stuff of one word because I got distracted child I was like nope I'm not doing it so since I made up my mind I wasn't gonna do all that so I was like yeah let me go on child I'm about to fall asleep in the car some more I don't know why it is making it look like I just have breasts out of this world I really don't <laughs> I don't have breasts like I don't I'm not like that I'm not her I was like why is this made it look like I got it like that when I don't but anyway lord I'm almost at work I hope I don't see nobody because child is supposed to be working. It's like almost 30 minutes into the shift. Everybody need to be somewhere but out and, and nowhere near where I'm finna be at. So I'm hoping I ain't gonna see none of these dusty people and um, all that. So anyway, but yeah, I'm, up, I'm about to take my um, take this food to my friend because we had made plans to sit together and everything at this function, child. Y'all, I'm about to be at work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it then I'm gonna come back out and tell y'all uh, what happened as I'm on my way home. Okay, y'all? I'll be right back. Oh, Lord, y'all. As you can see, it has gotten extremely dark. <laughs> uh, I ended up uh, having a conversation with my friend. So, <laughs> that ended up screwing me from being able to get back out on time to get back in this car to talk to y'all. That dusty, uh, so-called divorce man that ain't divorced at work. Shy. I just saw his vehicle. But yeah, I'm leaving out now. So what I'm gonna do is, since y'all are not gonna be able to see me within the next five to seven minutes, because it's drastically getting darker as I speak, I'll just uh, finish this conversation with y'all after I get back to the house. All right, I'll be back. Hey, y'all. So I have returned. Okay, so let me tell y'all about what happened. Okay, so I'm at the retirement party, right? And so I'm mixing and mingling and, you know, I don't know what happened, but all the people who said they was gonna come didn't show up. So I'm just looking like, okay. Now, I don't know why this is, I don't know why I was trying to make it look like I just, I'm that girl when I'm really not, I, I don't know. Listen, I didn't want my clothes to be see-through and I didn't know what my black one was. So, I doubled up on these so I could be, you know, I ain't want everybody to see the, the special, the special pants up under here through the shirt. So, yeah. So, excuse me in advance. <laughs> anyway, y'all, so, I'm over here enjoying myself. I'm just, you know, I'm walking through and I'm doing little video footage and, you know, taking pictures with specific people or whatever that I actually do associate with 
that work there and that I know or whatever. And so it's a cool situation. Y'all, tell me why I'm minding my business. And <clears throat> the person who retired, her husband-to-be, then rolled up and was like, hey, how you doing? Da -da -da -da. He just started talking to me. So then I'm talking to him, y'all. I completely forgot the connection because old boy who got the two kids, he used to always say, oh, that's my aunt in the office. That's my aunt to do the schedule. That's my aunt. And so he's supposed to be his uncle. But the connection is like his stepmama is related to him in some kind of way. So technically, that's not his biological uncle, but out of his own mouth, he said that he has treated him as if he was a special nephew to him. So I was like, okay. So he, he this man started giving me, spilling all kinds of random tea. I was like, wait a minute. He done went off. He done went off talking about some, <clears throat> once I connected the dots, and I was like, oh, you his uncle. And he was like, yeah. Started going off all oh, man. So then, Come to find out after the first time I walked away from talking to him, he said something to his fiance, which is the woman who's retired, right? And was like, why you ain't tell me that she know him? And so he's he supposedly mad. I don't know. Like, I thought it was a joke, but she was like, yeah, because he brought it up to me later on. One of the other times we talked, he was like, I told her, I told her. I asked, I said, why do you tell me that she knew him? And all this other stuff that went off. I was like, what in the world? And so him and various other people kept telling me how beautiful I was. And I was just looking like, what is going on? <laughs> I didn't know what was going on, child. So I was like, okay. So we in the middle of the conversation. All of a sudden, this man proceeds to say, that he needs to leave the baby mama alone and all this other stuff. And I was just like, I, I wouldn't have to say nothing. I'm like, look here, I don't know what to tell you. He over here talking about he didn't try to hem him up for money several times. And a couple of times that he did, he never paid the money back. And then kept doubling back to my, hey, can I borrow this? But he was like, uh, I might be older, but I haven't lost my memory. You ain't paid back the money that you asked me for before. So I was like, no. Like He was like, I know I'm, I'm telling you a lot of stuff. I don't know if he told you about it. He probably didn't, but I'm just telling you. I was just like, oh, my God. I was not expecting none of this tea, but okay. So this man just telling me stuff, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's too much going on. And so he was like, you are so beautiful. Do you have kids? Da, 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 da. Then he told me that they have this, uh, what's the next holiday coming up? Memorial Day or something? He told me that they always do Memorial Day at his house, even before they met. He he has this humongous house, y'all. And so once they became a couple and they really got settled and, you know, they realized they were going to be together, whether she accepted what she wanted her, what she thought her fate was going to be, which was just not getting married again because they both had been married before. Tell me why when it was his turn to introduce himself to everybody, he going to say, hey, y'all, da 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 this man gonna say that he met her in the grocery store that he saw her come in the door and she had ashy ankles and so he followed her out to her car it was like hey how you doing do you got a husband and she was like yeah uh, but she wasn't happy or, or something or she was gonna get divorced or whatever he was like well I am divorced and let me know if you want to talk and he gave her his number and he said i don't know how true it was he said that before she left out the parking lot she ended up calling him i was like what is going on I, I, he is such a, a a jokester to the point where i don't know how much of that is true now i don't know i don't know what's going on she was going through a bad situation with whoever she was married to so like it was about to be over with anyway like she was getting the everything finalized <clears throat> he already had been divorced um, he had a past, of course. He had some stuff going on, but he changed his life for the better. And he does well for himself and all that. He lives for her. And, like, she was just, y'all, when I tell y'all, I want to be happy. 
the way that she displayed the happiness that you could tell that she obviously was feeling and how that man made her feel. I was just like, oh my gosh. And she light skin. And she was blushing. Like she kept hiding her face and blushing. I was just like, oh, I cannot. Like she's a gangster. And the fact that that man like softens her, it was just the type of situation where you could tell they are meant to be together. So unless they just putting on the front, it was awesome to see them interact. But yeah, uh, so when we was talking one-on-one, -on -one, he kept pulling me to the side, y'all. Everybody in the room looking like, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> because, okay, first of all, I inadvertently ended up working the room for this man, right? <laughs> I kid you not. So, first of all, I'm looking for my friend. I'm like, look at where she at. And, cause she got off yesterday. And I think I told y'all in the other video that's gonna be attached to this because I was trying to record it as I was leaving. And so I'm looking like, okay, where she at? She ain't there. When I realized she's not there, eventually I asked her, like, do you want me to bring you something to work? Because it's like, she there, she missing all the festivities. Like, I didn't know if she brought something to eat or not. Now she's been doing right, she's been doing good, but we all planned on being bad today. <laughs> like, it just is what it is. And so like, this is a little bit of the, my drink because I had a humongous drink and I was not finna throw it away. But yeah, this is actually mixed with um, some um, juice, some puree, some, you know, real fruit and stuff or whatever. But I had a beverage beverage earlier and it was a lot and it was up to here. By the time I poured it in there to take it home, it was humongous. And I tried to drink it when I was there, but I was like, oh gosh, I couldn't even finish my food. And it, it wasn't even a lot. You would have thought I had a lot of food. I'm just trying to tell people that just because I'm fat, y'all don't be understanding that. I'm fat, but I really don't be eating like that. <laughs> and then people was kind of shocked because I kind of tried to save my appetite, but yeah. Mm -mm. But yeah, I'm finishing that off. You can't even taste the alcohol no more because I mixed this stuff in it. All yesterday, I was eating, well not eating, I was drinking a whole lot of spring water. So tell me why I told y'all my feet and ankles had been swollen like crazy, swollen like crazy. And I had just, in my mind, accepted the fact that I wasn't going to be able to have my toes out. I had already, like, manicured. Well, not manicured. I had already, like, buffed my feet and all that stuff. You know, I try to, you know, keep that under wraps. Keep that done. Uh, keep that uh, in a way where I don't have to really worry about that. Because I don't want my feet to be rough. And it's summertime. Like, so, I had already did all of that and prepped my feet. And, you know, I keep trying to make sure they're moisturized so that it don't get all hard and rough and all that because I know I'd be doing the most at work but while I was off I had already done the things I needed to do the only thing I didn't do was to uh, repair my toenail so um, I don't remember if I said anything about it before but my right toenail I don't know I don't know if it's me doing something or whatever for like the past I don't know how many years like well over 10 15 years one time I ended up dropping something on my foot and I dropped it on my actual nail and it split and so it split and so I what I do is I rip it off until it gets down to the white meat where it actually connects and then I let it grow out so since I know how to apply acrylic and all that stuff I still had my acrylic powder and you know all that stuff so what I was gonna do was I was gonna create a nail and do my toes again but just try to figure out what color I needed some more vibrant colors because I like I like all kinds of stuff I don't, I don't just want brown red and all that like I like black I like neon colors I like all of that sometimes I really do have my toes looking like skittles I got old pictures somewhere of that but it just depends on what's going on. I like designs. I like all that stuff. And so I'm trying to get back into keeping my toes done and doing them and painting them and all that. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, I was going to redo that toe. And so a day or so ago, I ended up just ripping the other one off, too. Like, uh, might as well. So I can make sure I get my practice up because I have not touched acrylic in I don't know how many years because I, don't, I haven't had a use for it. I don't do my actual nails anymore, as y'all can see. So... I just don't have a use for it. Um, but I wanted to keep it on standby just in case something like that happens. So, yeah. Because I know stuff happens. 
And so since I do know how to do that, that's what I do when I want to. So I thought that my feet and my ankles, ankles were going to be swollen beyond belief. I got off work. They were okay. I sat in my car for two hours waiting on the store to open. Changed my shoes out, took my, you know, took my shoes off normally. The test comes when I take my shoes off and I see what it do. All of a sudden, for some reason, my feet never swollen up. Like even right now, they still not swollen. I came home, got home, took my shoes off, just had my socks on. They're not compressed or nothing like that. Like these are kind of they're not, you know, tight socks or whatever. I got room to breathe. I got room to move all of that. No issues. My ankles are not swollen. My feet are not swollen. So now I'm like, really? Really? This is what you do? This, this is what you want to do? Talking to my feet and my ankles. Because I was under the impression that since all week I have been doing everything, I've been elevating my legs and feet and all that stuff, thinking that that would help and all of that. I guess, you know, all that spring water that I had been drinking like I, I didn't I forgot to bring my fruit to work because we had been having such terrible weather I was concerned with getting to work early so that I could leave early enough to drive slowly through the rain or as slow as I needed to so I could get there in one piece without being swept away and getting caught up in no accident hydroplane and I, I mean I hydroplaned all the way to work one of the bridges that I had to cross under, um, pass under, it was beginning to flood. So, yeah, it was pretty bad at the time that I left out. And, um, yeah, I'm glad that the rain has kind of stopped for right now because it's been terrible. We've had, like, almost pretty much like a week of just rain downpours bad. So... I'm over here thinking my feet gonna be swollen up like right now. I'm about to take my socks off. <clears throat> Child, my sister trying to tell me, you might have lymphedema. I'm looking at her like, girl. <laughs> no, I don't. Like, I know what it is. It's all this salty stuff I've been eating. These. <laughs> like, before I started eating those, I was not blowing up like crazy. But pause this i'm about to take these socks off hold on y'all i'll be right back <sighs> all right y'all but anyway yeah like my feet my feet look normal now my ankles look normal right now and i'm just like <laughs> that's why i mean i was i was anticipating not being able to really be able to put my foot in nothing cute so i ended up wearing some of my blinged out um crocs <clears throat> And stay it because I could have if I had known I would have did my toes and I would have had my feet out and I have so many cute shoes that can go with these even if it was some Crocs I couldn't even wear none of my open toe like sandal Crocs that are really really cute child I was so mad I was like really I can't believe this and like right now still not swollen but yeah my sister told me it might be lymphedema no 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 I know what's going on here. Salt. <laughs> Salt that I shouldn't have been eating because it didn't happen until I started eating that. Um, but yeah, all I had was spring water and it started pushing stuff out. And I forgot my fruit at the house. I had peaches and I forgot them because I was in a hurry trying to make sure I left the house. That was the whole thing on my mind, getting to work safely. And by the time I got to work and I went on break, I said, dog, on it, I forgot my peaches. I planned on bringing like three peaches to work. One I was gonna eat on my first break or my second break and then I was gonna eat the last two on whatever time I decided to have my lunch break at. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. <laughs> so back to the story. So tell me why the woman who retired her husband-to-be, he gonna tell me that I should give the nephew a chance he's a good dude and all this other stuff i looked at him sideways <laughs> i said i understand what you're trying to say but no i was like i can't do it he was one of the people that despite the fact that he's young he already stuck in his ways i just like he's the type of person he'll defy me just just to say i did the opposite of what you said even if it's something right and something that will help him i ain't got time for that 
No. Like, why would I sit up there and try to tell you something that's going to sabotage what you got going on? That don't make no sense. So, yeah, I was like, nah. Nah. Now, I've, I've seen him. He has his moments where he's awesome. But it's the, it's the things that are red flags, blaring, glaring, and all of that red flag. Ain't nobody got time for it. So he was like, you should just go ahead and let him move in. Who? Let him move into where? Who you talking man? if you don't get out my face? <laughs> Who? Because I don't remember if I told y'all or not, he still lived with the baby mama. And they have this weird system where they do everything but have sex. And they have their weekends. So this weekend is her weekend with the kids. So when he was talking to me the other day, he was like, oh, no, they're not with me because it's not my weekend. And I was like, wait a minute. So do y'all not live together? Because last I checked, like, you was living at your stepmama house but, but was going back to the house to live with them because it was hard on the kids to see y'all not together, you know, waking up to you and all this other stuff. Oh, no, we live together. I cannot. I cannot do <laughs> I'm not going to willingly deal with no situation like that. I'm sorry. I ain't got time for it. But no, you ain't finna get me. You ain't finna use me. Mm -mm. And I already told y'all the reason why he and I stopped talking for such a while, a long time. It's been months. And he reached out to me the other day. Whether he remembers or not, it was because I simply said no to buying him some food. That was the first time I ever said no to him after after knowing him for like, what, two years or whatever? Like, sir, I can tell you no sometimes. I expect you to tell me no. If I was to ask you, I have a right to say no. I have a right to, say not, to deny you. Like, you don't know why I said no. I could have just said it just to say it, or I could have been saving my money for something else. Instead of giving it to you, for you to always spend it on some food. Like. But anyway, y'all. Um, but yeah, since they're, so, they're supposed to be having this uh, event at the house, and um, I'm gonna talk to my friend to get the information. And um, since she does have her number, I ain't really gonna have to talk to her about the woman who retired. So I didn't, you know, ask for her number and all of that. But my friend she'll talk to her so whenever the event happens i'll know and if i'm off i'll go and watch it well i'll go over and see what it's hitting for but he talking about he normally have a whole lot of people over there and that he'd probably be able to hook me up with somebody i was looking at him i said sir <laughs> i'm time for the foolishness i was like i'm good he was like no 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 i usually can tell within the first three minutes of meeting somebody how they are as a person. I can tell you have an amazing personality. You, I know you're a good woman. I can't believe you single. I just be looking like, child, that's the problem. <laughs> that's my issue. Everything that everybody lives for, that's my issue. So I'm going to be by myself. I, I will happily be by myself because people love to take stuff like that for weakness, want to try me. I'm a good woman. I'd rather be by myself. No, thank you. But y'all, so I don't order the food for my friend. And so he done sat up there, watched everybody, made sure they ordered whatever they were going to order. I got this big old frozen margarita. And um, I got my friend's food to go because I was going to go up to work and bring it to her. I be doggone, he done stood up and announced that he paying for all our food and drinks and all that other stuff. And we was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> I mean, I had my car ready to go and pay for her stuff. So I was like, wow, that was definitely a blessing. So... It was really, really nice. Y'all, guess what? She didn't hear it. Obviously, because it's a surprise. But he was talking loud enough to where, like, if she was paying attention, she would have heard it. He's going to buy her a brand new car. Like, he is, he been setting it off. Setting it off. Like, y'all, I just cannot get over it. I'm still envisioning how happy she looked. Just being there with him. And anytime he says something to her, she was just all over him. She was just blushing and she just smiling. I was just like, oh my gosh. Like you could tell how happy she is. They're about to go and go on cruises and 
they're going to various places and I think they're going to get married. I mean, well, she says she don't know when it's going to happen, but he might have something already set up where they're going to get married when they go out to Jamaica or wherever they're going. Um, so yeah, ain't no telling, but they live for one another. It was so cute, y'all. I really thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was so great being there. And everybody that I saw, I couldn't believe some of the people that I saw. I was like, oh, wait a minute. And I'm not going to stop being myself. I'm not going to stop being myself because one of the people who interviewed me for a job was there. And so I could tell they was watching me as I was working the room, so to speak. And I'm like, I'm not going to deviate from who I am because you're here. I'm not going to put on a show and be like, oh, let me act like this. Like, no, I'm going to still be me. But I don't, I don't know. People just... People like being in my presence. People gravitate towards me. It just is what it is, I guess. But anyway, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was very fun, y'all. It was so fun. It was nice. We never even got around to playing the games. The person who orchestrated all of this, um, they found out later on that they're actually related. They're cousins. So, <laughs> uh, it was so funny. But they actually kind of favor, so it makes sense. But... Uh, she and I took pictures together as well. It was so crazy. Like, people be knowing me, and they be, like, peeping. I, like I told y'all, people be watching me, and I don't even know when they be watching me. I be looking like, well, why you know me? Child, then when I went up there, when I went up to work to take my friend her food, the time that I got there, it was enough time to where I could drop her food off, maybe talk five, ten minutes, and then get out of there before anybody see me. Who don't need to see me. Only one person saw me that I was like. Because <laughs> he be having this moment where he be living for me. So I was like, oh no, but okay. Um, so then, the, one of the people who ain't want to see me. To, first of all, today ain't a day that he normally works. So I'm like, why are you here? Like, leave me alone. He done said it off. And all of a sudden, he had to appear. I'm over there having a good old conversation with my friend. I'm trying to leave. He done rolled up. He going to stand there looking at me up and down. Your child about to salivate and everything at the mouth. I was like, somebody please. I was like, I was like, see, this is why I was trying to leave. I ain't got time. <laughs> I had parked at the front door and everything. I was like, I ain't parking no parking space. I'm trying to hurry up and get out of here. I need an escape plan. So I can get out of here fast. You ain't finna get me. <laughs> so then five minutes later, the dude that's like almost 50 years old and rolled up. So I see him out the corner of my eye because I'm talking to her. And so he walked and then he stopped in the middle of the flow. I was like, I was like, see, and now you got him. I said, see, this is why I should have left five, ten minutes ago. Everybody named mama coming out now. I ain't got time for this. I ain't want to run into none of them. Like, I be reading them folks. And so then they supposed to be having this, um, I'm trying not to say it, but it's it's like a, a formal like ball gala or something like that or whatever it's gonna be like towards the end of september everybody keep asking me am i going no i don't want to see none of y'all outside of work like what are we talking about no no i'm not going to that foolishness and i be saying it loud every, every time somebody asks me about it, i don't care what time of the day or night it is no i ain't going i don't want to see y'all outside of work like y'all get on my nerve. I be going off. I don't care if it's HR. I don't care who hear me. No, I ain't going. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, thank y'all for listening to me ramble when it went. I don't know how long it is now because I got three different videos to put together so it can make one. But all in all, I enjoyed myself. And look, I don't care. I took off. I said what I said, and it is what it is. But anyway, y'all, y'all have an amazing, I was about to say weekend, but the weekend finna be over with now, within the next couple of minutes or so. Um, but y'all have an amazing day, week, and all of that good stuff. I'm about to continue watching The Wiz, and um, I might watch Love and Marriage Detroit, and then go my behind to sleep, and then get back up, and like I told y'all before, I'm gonna go and get me some fruit in the morning. So y'all have a good one. Be safe out there. I'll see y'all later. Bye.